Hey, Eloise Ansel here. Hello. I am an intuitive healer based in the UK. And this week I want to talk about intuition and the left and the right brain. Hey, so I was doing a session today for my Heal the Healer membership. If you're an alternative therapist, if you're a healer, if you're an intuitive type and you work with bodies and people, you might want to check out my Heal the Healer membership because it's very cool. And every month I do three sessions clearing the intuition and our money stuff and what's holding us back from being an amazing healer. I'm very well known for helping healers become better healers. So that we play with that. Um, but this week's session was all about the intuition. And the session was really cool. It ended up kind of knitting together the left and the right brain, kind of energetically sewing them together. It was very fun. And I've never experienced this sensation of the two hemispheres literally being sewn, <laughs> sewn up. So I thought it'd be fun to talk about. So the interesting thing is we have a left and a right hemisphere. I mean, that's just quirky in itself. And some people won a Nobel Prize for saying, you know, we have the left brain and the right brain. And you might be seeing this reverse. I never know. Um, <laughs> you know, it's the left brain is supposed to be very logical, analytical, can only focus in on the small things and dives into the detail. Whereas the right brain is more creative, it's where our intuition lives, and it can see through all time and space. Now, in the Western world especially, we tend to worship the left brain at school we do. When we're little kids, we kind of celebrate us a little bit more, and we celebrate the creativity. And then at some point, we stop doing art for fun, and <laughs> we start to really become academic and learn and learn that things are outside of us when really everything that we need to know we have within and we have access to through our intuition but we get told that outside knows more than the internal world and that's where we start to shut the door sometimes on the intuition not everybody and we're all different and there's some great teachers out there and there's some awesome schools and you know I'm not saying it's 100% set in stone, but that's the habit that we have in the Western world. So we tend to worship the left brain and kind of dismiss the right brain. And there's that great quote that Einstein has, which I'll share. <laughs> I can never remember it word for word. But we really lose touch with that intuitive side and if you've become a healer or you're working with your intuition in some way in your work we kind of start making contact with it again and it really is a journey to really trust it 100 percent and to be able to follow it and its guidance and wisdom and if you've taken any of my intuition courses and if you want to start small, check out my 11 keys to upgrade your intuition. Not that you can really upgrade it, but it's a better word to use for marketing. <laughs> but it's about unlocking the intuition. There's a mini course I have. And then if you want to step into intuition talks and dive a bit deeper, you can. But in all my courses, I talk about the two hemispheres and then how they really need to work together as a team. Because as I said, we dismiss the right brain, we worship the left brain. And this takes us on a journey where we kind of fragment it a little bit and we don't trust the intuition. We don't we don't honour it. And as I was sharing in this session, and if you've taken intuition talks and things, you'll probably know, I've had experiences where my intuition has told me to do things, and major things in my business and my life. And at the time, I've been like, I have no idea why I am drawn to do this or I'm told kind of almost to do it. Like the intuition has been so strong. I'm like, right, OK, we're doing this. And I have no logical clue as to why. And then years down the line, I'm like, 
my intuition was spot on. I can't see what's coming up in the future, but my intuition can. So sometimes we get guided and it might have given me some wishy-washy thing at the time. Uh, it's just why just to satisfy me sometimes with some logical reason. And, you know, and then I go on the journey and go, why, why, why was that even important? It was like, you know, it doesn't make any sense. And yet that guidance, that wisdom has worked out long term, time and time again. And it's it's such a gift to be at that stage where I'm willing to trust my intuition 100 percent. Just, you know, no question, no answer and not have to have any reason or logic or justification as to why whatever it's telling me is great. But I've got to that point of trust where I've kind of knitted both hemispheres together. And it can take time to get there. Now, I kind of cheat in that I use my intuition day in and day out in my business since 2008. So I've done my 10,000 hours. (laughs) And still there's exploration to do, there's things to learn. So wherever you are at at your journey, there's no judgment. But what can you do that would take you towards that beautiful place where you can knit your two hemispheres together. Now, I know for certain not everybody in my Heal the Healer membership who listens to that session this week is going to get to that integration that came up or going to have it in varying, varying different levels. And that's great because when they come back to the session, maybe in six months, maybe in a year's time, they'll be in a different place. There'll be a deeper integration going on. And we're always going to take that next step. Sometimes rushing ahead is too scary for the nervous system. It's too much. It's like if we opened all your intuition up like that, you'd probably go insane. It has to be this gentle unfolding, this gentle unwinding. So trust your gut. Go with it. and see where you get to it is like it is a marathon not a sprint it's like I know know from experience having been on this journey myself for many many years I still got still got places to go and see and you know experience and I'm excited about that so I want you to get excited about your intuition I want you to get excited about what's possible and what's your next step if you're a healer come and join me on the healer healer sessions you can do the free ones you can sign up to the membership when it's open (laughs) but diving into my intuition talks courses might be the next step if you really want to understand and unlock all of this potential that we have with our intuition that we're just trying to dismiss and when we live by the intuition following its guidance step by step every day it opens up so much more so much more possibilities and like you know life becomes an adventure but with less challenge (laughs) so have a great day check out I'll put all the links below for everything if you want to check out some of it that would be awesome a big gift to you and your intuition and your life and yeah if you've got any questions put them below I'd love to do some more videos on intuition and talking about it I was scratching the surface with this conversation but I think it's an important one to acknowledge where we're at and you know taking that next step sometimes we have to actively do something to do that and give it some time give it some space not make us wrong and just be an allowance of where we're at and just keep doing the work keep showing up keep playing with it It, it's such a beautiful expansive playground when you get there anyway have a great day take care bye